Inevitably, if you love to fish, at some point in time, you have to fish in cold weather and cold water. It's important to understand what that does to a fish. When that water temperature gets to or stays below 50 degrees, it changes everything about that fish. Their metabolism slows down, which in turn means they have to feed less often, eat less, and their strike zone shrinks considerably. They won't move as far to hit an artificial or a live bait. So knowing that, think about what happens in that underwater world. The first thing is shad start to die off at about 45 to 40 degrees. Shad also get lighter in color. That causes me to choose a crankbait that's colored a lot like those shad are at this time of the year. The other thing about a crankbait is it's got a slow wobble and it stays right there in front of the fish for a considerable period of time. When you look at spinner baits, I'm gonna to go to a smaller bait and a slower retrieve. Of course, this bait will work. And again, it's got the big silver blade that looks a lot like a shad. Big bait is a chance for a trophy. Small bait's gonna mean you're gonna catch more fish, but there might be smaller fish. But again, it's critical to use that bait keep it in a strike zone, repeated cast, and a slow retrieve. Smaller and slower is always better in cold water. This jig is one of my favorites. It catches lots of fish, it catches them year round, and it'll catch them in the winter time. But if the water's really cold and really clear, I'm gonna throw that smaller jig. Cold water almost ensures clear water. The fish gets a chance to see that bait for a longer period of time, so your lure selections are gonna be pretty much the three big heavy hitters, crankbaits, spinner baits and jigs. Small baits, slow retrieves, consider that clear water, what it does to that fish, it's not gonna eat as much, it's not gonna eat as often, but they can be caught. Clear water, cold water, I guarantee you, you try that, you're gonna catch a few more fish. For real tips, I'm Joey Monteleone.